Okay, we should get into this video because the sun is setting and we're not gonna have lighting for very long. Am I in focus? I can't, I can't really tell. So we're just gonna go ahead. I used to film in my bedroom all the time and I haven't in what quite literally could be a year. And when I say that, I mean like a sit down video like this. But today we are in my bedroom sitting down to film a video and I think a really fun one. I'm really excited about this. Sorry, I made my iced tea. I'm also not used to talking for a long time. So even like two seconds made my mouth go dry. But today's video is going to be really fun. I wrote all of these down, not only myself, but with some of my friends. And you probably know the TikTok trend, but I'm not good at filming TikToks like whatsoever. I can barely film a YouTube video. Like, let's be completely honest here. TikToks are just a whole other beast, but I really, I cackle. And when I say I cackle, I mean like the biggest belly laughs for those um, things that send Victorian children into a coma. Now, I've always been a huge history nerd. So some things that people say aren't things that would send a Victorian child into a coma because Victorian era refers to Queen Victoria. who was like the queen when Can the country Canada became a country 150 years ago. But we're going to go through a list of Disney things that would send these little girlies into a coma. There is no particular order to this. There's definitely way more things that would send a Victorian child into a coma that we kind of chose that I chose to leave out because like let's be honest 90% of rides at Dis Walt Disney World, Disneyland, anywhere would send a Victorian child into a coma. God forbid we put them on like Guardians of the Galaxy. Cosmic Rewind. So yeah number one figment. I think for a lot of these I don't like I don't have much to say just figment. Figment would definitely send a Victorian child into a coma. Both his character, the ride, the concept, popcorn buckets, that whole craze around them, them as a concept in general, would send a Victorian child into a coma. Number two, Tinkerbell flying during the fireworks. I think that them seeing Tinkerbell in a light up suit flying over a crowd would blow their minds and send them into a coma. It blows kids' minds all the time. So never mind a Victorian child. Enough said on that one. Three, Drinking around the world. I don't even know how you would explain. Like, I think drinking around the world is hard to explain to people in general, and sometimes people have like a hard time comprehending it. But I think that Victorian children would be either sent into a moral coma or just a coma in general because of it. They'd be freaked out. Which then leads to number four, which is sleeping around the world. I'm not gonna say much about this one either, um, other than it's a term within the Disney College program refers to people sleeping around the, wor the world. You can Google it or figure that one out on your own. Um, yeah. The ECV beeping sound. <laughs> Six, the concept of a Disney adult. Um, I think that would blow their minds. Seven, Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. But can, like, can you imagine just seeing like a Victorian child sitting in those seats? in the racing academy and then having Mater come up on the screen and um the smoke machines go off and then like Light Light McQueen's just there a talking race car eight the entertainment costuming rooms whether that be in Epcot or the Magic Kingdom Utilidors this is it definitely if you know you know um if you don't know definitely you can probably um connect the dots on that one um, that sent me into a coma the first time I saw it, so definitely would send a Victorian child into a coma. Tachos, like somebody's lunchbox. Um, number 10 is the phallic-shaped architecture of Disney. There's just a lot of phallic-shaped architecture, detailing. I think we all know what happened in the Morocco Pavilion. One of my favorites is the fence at the Haunted Mansion. 11, Vista Way. Again, this is one that would send a lot of people into a coma, but would definitely send a Victorian child into a coma. Now, Vista Way, rest in peace, no longer exists. However, it still exists in people's hearts. I know that that's where my brother lived and that will forever be 
the Disney housing that my brother experienced. I think Flamingo would still send them into a coma, just maybe like a two hour. This way would be like months long. Oh, and if you told them stories. 12, tough to be a bug. I think that one, I don't know if they'd make it through the show. I think, I think they'd have a hard time with tough to be a bug. Club cool. Um, in concept and also it's not a nice glass of sarsaparilla or sorry there's pigeons mating on the balcony I just wanted to show you guys what I was looking at there's the pigeons they're now apart from each other but they were together a minute ago they scare me constantly those pigeons would send a child into a coma but club cool um i would love for them to try both beverly and is it china the plum pop send them into a coma 14 um we said the dinosaur with lights as nipples um at the entrance to dinorama disney bounding just grown adults dressed up as disney characters but not fully um, and also I think that they would just be surprised that we have so much clothing and that we show our ankles 16 is art of animation. I Think that the the movies would first of all freak them out and also Just the sheer size color noise everything about it really um, I picked specifically art of animation, but you could do all stars as well, but art of animation cuz like when you think about it in like the Victorian era, if they thought about mermaids, mermaids were something that like killed sailors. So like having a giant Ariel brushing her hair with a dingo hopper would just like send them into a coma. 17 ride photos. At first this was just going to be photo pass, but I think ride photos would yeah, send a Victorian child into a coma, both inappropriate ones, but also just like normal ride photos, just with the sheer fact that in the Victorian era, they had to stand for multiple minutes for a photo to develop or have death portraits taken. So I think that the sh fact that like, as you turn on G Cosmic Rewind, flashes a photo in the dark would send them into a coma. 18, audio animatronics. I think it would just freak them out. I want to see a Victorian child's response to any audio animatronic, but like, I don't know. The Donald Trump animatronic in Hall of Presidents. You have to remember that when Lincoln, the first Lincoln audio animatronic came out at the World's Fair, people were so gobsmacked by it and surprised by it that they they claimed they saw it walking. And it was great, but it's not near as what we have right now. So I think audio animatronics would send a Victorian child into a coma, which leads into the last one, which is the country bears. I'm just gonna let you ponder on that one. Um, and to quote my favorite line from Country Bears, because I think that it would send them completely crazy. All the boys that turn me on, turn me down. This tea slaps. It's Caribbean Crush by David's Tea, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> Canadians, you can get it. I, Americans, I'm sorry. It's a Canadian tea brand, but it's really good. That's all you have to know. Okay. Now, we have a few honorable mentions of things that would send a Victorian child into a coma. Poseidon's Fury experience at Universal. The entire wizarding world of Harry Potter experience, both Islands of Adventure and Universal. E.T. Getting a tattoo at Universal. And lastly, in the honorable mentions, cowboys and senior frogs. So as I said, these are all just like silly little things. These are Disney things, plus the honorable mentions that I think would send a Victoria chi Victorian child into a coma. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but it really was, which is just awesome. So as I said, this list was not just compiled by me. I got help from my friends, Maeve, Natalie, and Alex. They helped me put this together. We did this at like 11 o'clock at night last night and I was sitting in bed cackling, as I already said. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Is there things that you could think 
would send a Victorian child into a coma? Comment them down below because I think this is so funny. I, again, I love this tr trend on TikTok. I wish I could use the voice audio because I'm scared that this wasn't funny at all. But no matter what, thank you for watching if you made it all the way here. Definitely subscribe down below. It takes two seconds, it's completely free, and it supports me greatly. If you're new here and don't know, I have a ton of videos on my channel of both vacation vlogs and uh, vlogs of my first Disney College program. Going back, I have 67 days until I move back down to Orlando and we'll be doing my second Disney College program, which is <laughs> very, very exciting. Also, definitely follow me on Instagram. Our little community is growing over there as well. It's also the best place to see what is happening at all times. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.